What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to talk to you today about YouTube ads. And it's kind of funny. I mean, you know, when you think of like the Squatty Potty ads or the Purple Mattress ads, I think they got it down. And I actually think that maybe the same media company produced both of those. Um, and I think they get it down because they are entertaining. They kind of hook you right off the bat, but then they get into the information, right? It's not necessarily just to be entertaining. It is to give you information. And so they kind of jam pack it full of little tidbits and demonstrations and stuff like that. And I think then they rearrange it to based on what is getting the best traction, kind of the best results in their A, B, C, D testing. But the problem with some YouTube ads is that they just don't get it. Now, the one I can think of that really made it clear to me was this one. I can't remember. I think it was like Foresight Golf or something like that. And this company builds really elaborate, sophisticated driving ranges, not just driving ranges where you go and hit golf balls, but they have basically like these launch monitor detectors so they can tell you how far you're the, you're hitting the ball, what your club head speed, you know, drawing, slicing, fading, whatever, pulls, um, you know, duffs, miss hits, shanks, whatever. And then it will show you that on a screen. So it's kind of like going to, you know, a fitting center in some ways. So I was really excited about it. So I'm watching, you know, some videos and I get one of these ads for this golf center and it doesn't tell me anything. It's just music with very slow panning glamour shots, you know, slow motion shots. And it doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't tell me where they are, what they cost. You know, if I couldn't tell that they had the golf launch monitors in there and people hitting like the monitor adjusting things, they didn't even mention that. Like they don't even have text um, layovers that say, you know, every stall equipped with launch monitors or whatever. And so, I, you know, I watched the whole thing because I thought, all right, maybe they're going to get into some dialogue. They're going to have the executive director of the business kind of talk about what it is and why you should go, where you should look for this, you know, but none of that came. It was all just these beauty shots and it was a total waste of a minute and a half or two minutes even. And so they could have just jam packed it full of good info. You know, one of the things that, I don't know, I get knocked and dinged and praised for my videos is that, you know, I just try to get information in my, my videos. I don't have panning shots of products. I don't try to do a lot of that. I don't do slow mos of me carrying stuff. You know, I can, and sometimes I've done some of those soft focus or, you know, the bulk shots or whatever, you know, because I, I really kind of wanted to, uh, pay tribute to some of the great products that I've checked out. But most of the time, I'm just trying to give you all the information. Explore deeper is one of my mantras on the channel. And that's because I'm not just trying to share with you products that I find interesting, but I really want to give you an inside look at what is going on, all the details about it so that you can say, yes, is that a purchase that I want to make or not? Right. Um, you know, so yes, on one hand, we'll discover more, but then we'll explore deeper into those things, you know, from the seams of the build quality and how things work. And, uh, you know, and so sometimes people are like, oh man, you're talking too fast. You're putting too much information. Why are you going so deep into some things and like how the setup is or how wiggly the plug is and stuff like that. But to me, the, the part that I find frustrating is when companies don't do any information. So watching that whole two minutes was a waste of my life. And in fact, because I was so intrigued by the pictures, and you know, maybe this is their strategy, I went to their website to try to find out. And I couldn't find out information at all, except that it seems to be a California-based company, and it looks like those driving ranges are only in California. Um, that was even a little bit of an inference because I couldn't find much information to say conclusively, like here are the locations. And they really, you know, more than anything, I think are just trying to sell it because they're like, you know, for investment opportunities or something, only contact us. But, you know, why show me this two minute overview of this really cool facility, something that I would clearly be interested in checking out and even potentially reviewing, but then not just uh, use that two minutes to make the most of it, right? Like, you know, to me, I was tolerating the beauty and glamour shots not enjoying them. It wasn't like, oh man, that's great. I've seen golf shots before. I've seen driving ranges before. There's nothing you're going to do to, to um, make me just salivate over it with, you know, glamour shots. What I want to know is like, what's that experience? Why should I go there? You know, where is it? How much does it cost? You know, what's the, what's the added value over, over any other driving range? And again, just wasted opportunity. So that's the problem with YouTube ads to me, too much glamour and not enough information. And so if you are making commercials for YouTube, so some of those pre-rolls, my suggestion to you would be make the uh, intro video, that commercial, that ad as valuable as humanly possible. That's it. That's my rant for today. I'll talk to you later. Peter Ron Panda, out.